when running a deck on uh, your car, uh, truck, whatever you have, you should really consider about putting a fan inside of it. Why? Well, the simple fact is because you have your heat sink back here, which is okay, and there's no fan to cool it off. Now, I've had several radios burnt out. Well, a couple was wrong wiring to the amp, of course, but because of this Arizona heat, and it just, the core heats up so much, it just fries it to the point where I'd have to literally turn up the volume all the way up just to try and hear it. And that's just not enough. It just, you know, it's not that high. So this is how it works. Um, I've rigged the wires for my fan. I have cold on my negative, my, neg my negative on my amp, and that negative through the wiring through my around my block to a battery. Now my positive is through my um, my remote wire to turn on my amp. So as soon as my amp turns on, you know, my radio turns on. Well, I mean, my radio turns on, my amp turns on. So this is how it works. So, um, stereos out there, honestly, they come with their own uh, fan setup. My old one, which was <coughs> when I first got a month old, which is like three months ago, thanks to my buddy who gave it to me, and I trashed it in an accident. He uh, he gave it to me, and there's just an itty bitty fan thingy here. Uh, of course, it was empty space. Uh, you need to buy your own fan and hook it up. And there was a little piece inside that you plug it in, and uh, I had two screw bracket thingies or two screw mounts. And so uh, you take open, like you um, open up the case and you stick it in there and you screw it in and bam. And it sends all that cool air throughout your whole case through your heat sink and stuff and cools it off. Uh, this one obviously, as you can tell, does not have anything like that. So I took the charge of doing it. Now this is, seriously, this is how it's going to sound like inside uh, the vehicle, but um, that's my terrorist set up right there, wires everywhere. I really don't care as long as, you know, it's a working vehicle, it's my only vehicle. Once I get my Cadillac, it's gonna change. Uh, I'm gonna go to Audio Express and have them clean it up once I put in big speakers and everything else, but this is what it's gonna turn out to be. This is how quiet it is. Just like that, and that's just, Hella quiet. That's how much room I have to offer inside. I mean, sure, the red wire in there, as you can see, that should be seriously pushed away from my fan. That wire should be good. That wire should probably be a little bit pushed down. Otherwise, that's pushing air all the way through my vents, and I can feel it. Also, pushing air throughout my bottom vents, and it's pushing air over the back of my heat sink so it's it's well you know aired around and stuff and of course my amp is on so and this is only a 40 watt I'm only pushing 40 And uh, I think the setup is good. It doesn't get as hot as I, I honestly expected, so I'm not going to put a fan on it. But once I get my 1000 watt amp, my big Sony one, I'm going to put a fan or two on it. And uh, yeah, the speakers I'm running are uh, Vegas. And uh, what it did, it's only pushing 800. So I'm thinking if I could just tune it down, it'd be good. But um, to recap what I'm saying though, uh, Arizona, it gets really hot, so that's why I have a fan on my, my deck. doesn't matter, day and night, you know, it keeps the temperature cooler than normal, which to me is a big difference. I'm a computer A plus IT technician, and when I build computers, I make sure there's a lot of fans in them. 
every electronic I have. I make sure there's a fan in it to keep it cool so it stays alive longer, you know, it has longer time, run time, so that it doesn't just burn out or just wear out, so. Um, now that fan actually is pretty quiet. That's only running a 7, that's a 12 volt running a 0.17 milliamp. This is my old one, and this one's a 12 volt running a 0.45 um, amp, or amp free, whatever you want to call it. See if it'll focus. Oop, there we go. 0.5A. Um, definitely powerful than that one. Though, uh, be very careful if you're going to have a powerful fan on there to not get your fingers because your blades will break. It'll make crappy noises. Um, it'll start to rattle because the blades broke. And this is what you'll get in return is messed up fingers because 